why don't we take a break here? It'll give us a chance to explain to you about Ratatosk. Sure. I want to know what's going on. All right, then. How much do you know about the world before its regeneration by the chosen Colette? Not much. A brief explanation, then. Long ago, the giant tree that sustained our world withered, and the end of the world was upon us. The goddess Martel and the hero Mythos managed to prevent this destruction by dividing the world into two. But two years ago, Colette the Chosen successfully reunited the two separated lands by sprouting the new world tree to support the world. While the world was divided in two, Lord Ratatosk transformed into his core and became dormant. That's this core on my forehead, Ratatosk's core. You mean that's the Demon Lord Ratatosk's egg? Lord Ratatosk is not a Demon Lord. He was a summoned spirit of the Great Tree of Old and is the Lord of all monsters. In order to awaken Ratatosk, we have to first awaken all of his servants, the Centurions, by hatching them. That's why we're on a journey looking for the Centurions' cores. Why can't Ratatosk stay asleep? If he's asleep, nature will be thrown off balance and destroy the world. For instance, Ratatosk's sleep is the reason why Lake Sinoa has dried up. And without him around to oversee things, most monsters have cut ties with the Centurions they serve. So the monsters are running wild and causing the world's mana to fall out of balance. Even while Lord Ratatosk is dormant, the Centurions are supposed to form ties with monsters and maintain order. Yet the Centurion of Water, Aqua, has allied with Richter and is neglecting her duties. Which is precisely the reason why we have seen one water-related disaster after another. It's absolutely deplorable. If all this is true, then why do you have to fight? Lord Ratatosk is exceedingly powerful. Though they may not be as powerful as Ratatosk's core, Centurion's cores still possess remarkable powers. Some people are trying to get the cores for their own selfish reasons. Lloyd and Richter are among those people. Lady Marta recovered Ratatosk's core from them. But somehow, the core managed to attach itself to my forehead. To tell you the truth, it's a bit frustrating. Do you understand now? Yeah, I guess. But I still can't believe Richter would do something like that. I'll drop out of sight, since my presence may draw unwanted attention. Oh, hey! You're not one of the monsters that attack the people in town, are you? Huh. Of course not. Those monsters were lured to the village by Lumen's core. When Centurions are in their core state, they're unable to control their powers. This results in the disruption of the mana balance and throws nature into chaos. That's why I don't want to give the core to Lloyd or Richter. I guess Centurion's cores are nothing but trouble. How rude. All right. Why don't we go to your house for now? Oh, um, we should first go tell the mayor what happened with Richter. Okay. Maybe we can ask him about Lloyd, too. Let's go. Yeah. I don't want her to see me being yelled at by my aunt and uncle. <laughs> <laughs>